Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading back into another campsite map, Camp Woodwind on Professional. So this time, I want to just try and have a little bit of a relaxing experience on Camp Woodwind. I don't know if that's going to be possible. It, it is windy, so it's a little loud, but I'll take wind over the rain any day. And I got the bone pretty easy. But here we are with Camp Woodwind, and like, this map's pretty simple in terms of what it is. I'm going to turn on all the lights in the main area here. Yeah, get this one on, get this one on, and then this section. And then at least this way, this little, I guess, three quarters of the map is lit up. Just not this back area. I think I just may have heard a tent. Looking for the monkey paw, whatever the cursed item may be. Now, I thought I maybe heard a tent back here get ripped, but maybe that was also just some... Ah, it's the white tent again. How many times? Every time I play this map, it's the white tent. Guess what? I am not going to try and take photos of the door, because I still don't know how to do that. But man, every time I play this map, it's just like, come over to the white tent. See, there's no lights over here. Now, what about hiding spots? Nothing really in there. I know looping the ghost is kind of just like the best thing to do, but I need to check maybe one of these. <laughs> If I can get in here without the ghost seeing me, actually both of these are open, so I just need the ghost to be like over there and then just sneak my way into this. No. First item, what might you be? I didn't see the mirror. What about like the voodoo doll? I swear I knew the items on this map. The only thing I don't know is like the actual voodoo doll. There's a hiding spot back there. Alright, ghost. You're telling me where you are. I'll get a photo of that. I'm not worried about the cursed item, though. Maybe at the end here, if I really need it, I'll go looking for it. I'm actually gonna put this, like, back here and just have it scan this entire room. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to restart that. Here. Timing this is almost, like, always the hardest thing. There. I... What? What is happening? <laughs> so much for a relaxing game. Did I have my headlamp on? I don't think I did, but maybe I had my headlamp on. All right, time to run it back immediately. But what the hell was this one? A demon? Demon. Because it wasn't fast. Maybe it was just a demon. At least let me be right here. Was that an early hunting demon? <laughs> of course it was. All right, damn it. Let me have a relaxing game on Woodwind. I think that's one of those scenarios where the ghost is just going to find you no matter what. This time, oh wow, it's foggy. I kind of like this more. But I didn't like that it was the white tent again anyway. So let's get a better location for the ghost this time. There's the bone. It also sucks that, like, every game I've recorded here, I've died at least once and had to go back in. Still got one kind of decent hiding spot. And this one is also one I like. I, that's why I didn't take my headlamp this time, because I may have had it on there, I don't really know. But no, this is a good hiding spot too. Now, as for the... I think the cursed item, I think the music box could be in here. Maybe we'll have a cursed item where I know where it is this time. Maybe I should close these tents, so that way if it opens them, we'll know. There's not that many tents on this map compared to... Maple Lodge, like that main area where all the tents are. Can I move this? Whoa. And there's a lot of tents in that one main area. There's the three over here and then one over here, so not that many tents for it to be in. I swear this map looks better. Like, even though they've optimized the maps, I think there's more foliage around, so it actually looks a little bit better. So I'm sure they optimized it, but just also kind of made it look better somehow, too. Oh, oh, there we go. See, that's why I closed them. I'm still looking for the cursed item. I don't know what the hell it is. Maybe it's the monkey paw sitting over there. All right, we move from the white tent to the red tent. I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to bother taking a photo. And I will just go ahead and get more equipment. I don't have my headlamp. No, it does not seem like the monkey paw is here. I'm not going to worry about the cursed item if it's not something... That I can even find, but also, like, I don't really think I'm going to need it on this map. Mm, wow, it actually kind of looks nice, though, with the, the glow through the fog. So I'm getting basically the same stuff I got in here last time. I want to find these ghost orbs if they're in here. I don't know why, but I just like getting this camera over with. 
Oh, try and scare me with that. Well, that one didn't... Don't be hunting. Don't be a repeat ghost, please. That was just a strange event. Put this here. Glowing tree. Is that because of the dots? Oh, that's EMF-5. Alright, see, I actually recognize the EMF-5. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting photos. I mean... Breaker? Wait, what? I guess you broke the light in here without me realizing? I guess that's what that event was, you breaking the light? Because the breaker's on, but I can't turn this damn light on now. Oh, the fog ghost orbs. <laughs> ghost orbs in the fog. Alright, we're getting them done. Raizu or Obake. What a... Wow. If you get EMF-5 and ghost orbs, it's either Raizu or Obake. With how many ghosts there are in the game, I didn't know there was still a scenario where it might just only be two ghosts. Well, guess what? Dots is going to be Raizu. And Obake is going to be fingerprints. So I'll go get the UV. Maybe even get the other dots in here. No, I'm going to not die to a Raiju this time. <laughs> Famous last words. Mark my words, man. I'm not going to die to this Raiju. Man, it was going crazy, though. Uh, I need to think about, you know, hunt re thresholds, escape, repel, and average sanity. Great. I need a average sanity, and I don't know what the cursed item is, and I don't know where they are. Well, let's get the last dots and UV. And then, actually, screw the dots. Let's just get more of this in here. And also, I'm going to take one of these just so I don't get hunted. Oh, this is so nice. Me and I was just run all the way back. That's like a something, like, like a side bonus. All right, covering this whole tent. And yes, okay. That was nuts. It like threw it right through my face. It looked like I sp spit it out my mouth. UV Obake. We know what you are this time. So now it just comes down to the hunt objectives and stuff. Now, yes, I could be getting photos, but as we kind of learn, photos are pointless if you're not really going for a perfect game. Oh my god. I'm gonna just take photos of all this. I'm gonna take... Oh. <laughs> Let's see if that all counted. Oh my god, it actually did work. Well, one of them was the disturbed salt. <clears throat> I cannot see the salt on this black background. I'm assuming it's walked through all of these. Nope. There's EMF-5. Well... We're not getting as crazy of a ghost of this game. We already know what it is. And the main problem here is these objectives. Oh, oh, see? That is a nice fingerprint. Oh, wait, what? Come on now. Charge that. Don't go away. Let me take a photo. Now, that should be fingerprint. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off just because I'm kind of annoyed by it. And it's kind of making it hard to see stuff in here. Oh, we do have more salt. Or do we? Yeah, this is full. There we go. More salt. Let's get this down. I'm gonna get all the photos. It's gonna be easy. Once I fill up these photos, I'm also kind of sitting here in the dark. Look at all these fingerprints, though. I should be getting. There we go, dude. Now let me fill up my book. We don't need a ghost photo. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything. <laughs> was that a good photo or not? That was probably terrible. Oh, disturb salt, at least. Well, we're filling out this book. I do have the bone. So maybe this would be a perfect game if I actually tried. This is broken out. I only need one more photo. That salt's not been walked in. And I think this one's been walked in. Well, we definitely have it now. There. All these three stars and the bone. But the thing is, if we just get these objectives, we'll have a perfect game. That would be a great way to, like, do a turnaround compared to how many times I've been dying. And oh my god, it is a monkey paw. Uh... So then I, do I just ask for weather? Do I have a, oh. Let me get smudges in here. Let me drop this, yeah, let me get smudges and stuff, because I'm not prepared for that. No, oh, I thought the breaker went out. So do I just ask the monkey paw to change the weather for me and hope that drains my sanity? There's not really a hiding spot over here. Is there a hiding spot in here? No. Alright. Uh... I wish for sun? I wish to change the weather. I don't really know what to ask. I wish for sunrise. Oh, it actually did hear me. Alright, there we go. See, that's how you get sunrise on woodwind. Now, let me check my sanity. I'll just leave that smudge. I have two on me. After using that, though... Uh, what other downside could there be to that? Like, from what I remember, using the monkey paw does 
have like downsides for everything, but like not for changing the weather. Oh my god, maybe it just makes the ghost way more active or something. I need to be sitting in the dark though. I could just use the monkey paw again. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what I should ask. I don't want to ask for activity. I want to. I want to like do good here. I want to get a perfect game. And like I said, I'm trying to have a chill game here. I'm trying to use this stupid monkey paw to drain my sanity. I wish for wind. That was a phone going off. I don't know. Do I just sit here and wait in the dark? I wish for clear weather. I don't know how it hurt me with the sunrise before. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe you're just hunting now. Oh! Are you hunting? Oh my god. I, have they changed these ghost events? Because I didn't hear that until I looked at her. I need to figure out if they have changed these ghost events to where they don't like make a noise until you look at them. Or, I don't even know. Maybe I just heard her walk into my right, but then I heard the door slam. These ghost events have to be different. Okay. Well, will you drain my sanity? Nelly Carter. I have no... Oh, man. Give me all the smudges. I have two. Did I just smudge you, by the way? So, yeah, you're not going to hunt. I wish to see you the ghost. I give up. I wish to see you the ghost. I know you're going to do this for me. I wish to see the ghost. Wow, you really do just have to take forever with it. Okay, well, we see the ghost. She's walking in place. All right. I'm gonna smudge once. I'm gonna go this way. And I'm just going to pray that I can tell where she is. And then just stay on the other side over. This is a way of forcing a perfect game though. Or I really wanted to take it safe, but I was like, screw it, man. Why am I like peeking? It is so dark too. I don't know if that's just can't tell which way she's coming from. Is it so dark? Like, did all the lights go out? Oh, I think... I think when you ask to see the ghost, it breaks the breaker as well. Although I hear that... Oh, nope, that came back on. So, maybe it really just was me being blinded? The breaker's on. Let me hit this light switch. Yeah, it was weird. Okay. I guess I was just blinded. That just looked weird. Oh my god, though. The only thing left is average sanity. So that didn't lower my sanity that much. Yeah, we're almost there. Alright, I'm going to sit in there. I got all smudges. Well, two smudges now. I'm going to sit in there. We're at 20 away. 8. Let's just sit in the dark and hope she doesn't hunt again. And if she does, like, really, I could just sit in a hiding spot. But I have two smudges, and I, I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to sit over here in the dark. And if she's either going to hunt me, or I'm going to get this average sanity below 25. I, oh, yep. I thought I heard that. Okay. This time, though, we had some lights on. Actually, if I can just sneak in here, that's going to be perfect. Yeah, this time, I don't know what happened. I guess because I was blinded. I could still see the trees and stuff, like the skybox, but every all the light was, like, blinded to me. There, average sanity. We know it's an obake, and we got a full thing of photos. So maybe, if I don't die here, I can get out of here with a perfect game. And maybe actually make some good money. Even though I haven't really been losing money, I do have a good amount saved up. Okay, please let me out of here. I know this is a cursed hunt. Maybe I could get a look at her. Oh, 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 oh my god. See, there's why I looked, because we got to see the Obake shapeshift. I looked out and I was like, wait, that's a different ghost model. I didn't even see the pajama girl, the patient seven. And I just saw the dress, which, I, wow, that was a best way of seeing an Obake. All right, let's get out of here and see what we get for this. After all these games where I've been dying, at least let me, uh, oh, there we go. See, that's why we want a perfect game. All right. I am done recording for this session, so next time we come back, I'm going to be using these tier 3. But alright, see there's 1300, that's even more than that medium map, but like, even on Maple Lodge I got, well, I'll see, we're still around 30. Alright, we're hovering around the same amount of money, but at least I got some levels, and we got the next thing, so let me, right, let me 
When we find that shop, we'll go ahead and read about this. 10,000, man. All right, well, this will be like, again, once you get to the tier three, you really start playing the game differently. Used by the military, these goggles reflect infrared light with electricity to amplify dark images. A pair of night vision goggles, allowing you to see in the dark without the need for a flashlight. Be warned though, your vision may get distorted if within range of an active ghost, rendering the goggles useless. To toggle the device on and off, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, that'll be a way different way of playing because I've been getting used to the the light on my head but now we're going to the tier three which is the night vision all right so next time we're gonna kind of like truly enter a new era because i'm gonna have the night vision goggles i have the lantern to play with and i even have the tier three uh stamina i call it, I call it stamina it's the sanity i want to call it stamina because it like boosts your stamina and you can run real fast so there's so many things you can play around with with the tier three so there's a lot of things i need to start learning with the tier three items now so if you're still here thank you so much for watching Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.